We're a crew of filmmakers who are totally over the endless bad news about the planet and our future. So we're on a mission to discover the most badass, ride or die people all over the world who are flipping the story from doom to boom. Looking ahead into our future is really hard for our generation. We need to be able to plan and dream about the work that we want to do. But what is there for us in this uncertain world that actually feels exciting? I feel like climate change robs us of our futures, but also of my present. That feeling of uncertainty can sometimes be really anxiety inducing. I find it really hard to figure out what a career looks like. Right now you don't know if there are jobs that are going to help us do what we love at the same time have a positive impact. So let's flip it. Of all the industries and jobs out there, which can help instead of harm the planet? And are there audacious hustlers around the world leading the way? <laughs> When you think about working in renewable energy, you don't necessarily think about it being a creative job. We think of solar panels as just being like something to put in a field. Can you have a cathedral with the stained glass as solar? It motivates you because you're a part of the solution. Nice. We found this incredible girl in Texas who has set up her own clothing rental business to do something about the huge amount of waste created by fast fashion. Okay, y'all, this is just some of the waste weaved into the fashion industry before a garment is even produced, worn, or thrown out. People want to support sustainable and ethical fashion brands that don't hurt the people making the garments or the planet, but aren't able to do so because of financial and size exclusivity. But the quality of the garments and paying the garment workers necessitate a higher price. So we rent out clothing from vetted, sustainable and ethical fashion brands, which really combines fashion, sustainability and tech. Once I found out that the problem existed, not only for me, but for thousands of other people, I decided to start working on that business model. People are really excited about solutions. It's very uplifting. The biggest thing that I get from young people is, are you guys hiring? That just speaks to the desire of young people to have a mission-driven career. Yeah. They don't want to quote-unquote sell out, but they need to make a livable income. Mm -hmm. I would love to see a future where 60% of people are working climate jobs, actively working on a solution. Anyone can discover a problem. Anyone can discover a solution from that problem. And the great thing is, we got a lot of problems. So <laughs> there's enough to go around. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly it. Thank you so much, Zara. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. 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 So, bringing it home, what's happening here in the UK? Well, we actually have our very own trailblazer on the crew. Our insane music creator, Fabio, is at work in his solar-powered studio. I'm working on a couple of trucks now, which is very exciting. This is where I'm composing all the music. You've got a studio in a wardrobe, in a van? I can run these off, off um, solar panels that we got on the roof. Can you play us one of the tracks? Yes, here we go. Let's find out what other cool jobs are here in the UK. Okay, let's do this, bitch. Okay, so. You often don't think of people like stewarding others, whether it's through education, upskilling. Some people have like the office dog, but they have like the office seal. We have the office seal, seal yeah. <laughs> These guys are doing something super amazing in really tough conditions. I would not be okay. <laughs> Do you think it's possible to have like a regular nine to five job in a space that is doing good work for the environment? Everything that we do now, we have to replace it with things that are better for the climate. When we found this guy, we had to talk to him. His job is to make materials to actually replace plastic. There's an awful lot of harsh chemicals used in the manufacture of pretty much every everyday object. And not only is it a viable alternative from a chemical point of view, but see, it has already solved a lot of the problems with traditional plastics. It's almost like we have to use it. It's asking to be used. It's always been apparent to me that the best solutions pretty much already exist in nature. From a very young age, I was always aware of the nature of the ocean, the materials within it. I think if there's any way that you can like bring what you love into 
what you do, it just makes it feel so much more rewarding. My work makes me feel incredibly hopeful. I work with a lot of people, not just chemists, designers, engineers. I certainly feel like I'm really at the beginning, but the best work in this industry is certainly yet to come. Ah, I love that. <laughs> That is amazing. We would all like there to be one big solution, but we live in a society with people with a range of skills, range of capabilities. I look at seaweed and seaweed materials. Somebody else looks at renewable energy. Somebody else is looking at sustainable transport. We stand a collaborative king. We're, we're right at the beginning here. Well, thank, thank you so, you so much. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye. You know, he was so inspiring and like he, was just really accessible and was just like, just start. Yeah, I really appreciate that. And it's just about taking what you know and what you're good at. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> a couple of the conversations we've had today has really kind of been like a light bulb moment for me. Talking to these people, I've realized you can literally get a job, do good for the environment, and you know, make some money as well while doing it. So you don't have to be broke. I've done activism on the side, and then I've had my day job, but not having to have that distinction is such a massive thing. That feels super hopeful. Audacious people everywhere are innovating and driving jobs that make the future look really damn exciting. I don't know about you, but I am hella motivated. And next time, we're going to be finding out what living our best lives can look like in the future. Our planet now.